Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the Money Ledger program for real estate agents plus one business. In this video you'll see how you can easily track your real estate, personal and business income and expenses with this ledger. Let's take a brief look at the program and enter a few transactions. The screen you're looking at now is the monthly screen. In the top left you can see that it's the month of January and at the bottom you can see the various tabs one for each month. On the left side of the screen is where you enter in your transactions, your income and expense items. On the right hand side of the screen are three summary statements. The first summary statement is all your expense categories and income. The second summary statement is for your agent only income and expense categories and expense numbers. And the third statement is for that rental property or second business where you're tracking those expense items along with the numbers and the income. At the top of each area of the screen is a print button for handy printing. Scrolling down the screen there's also a payment type summary box. It shows the totals for each payment type that you're using. So how much are you spending on Visa that month or check or debit or cash and it tracks that for you. And then there's a reconciliation report and this you can use to easily reconcile your bank account statements when you get them in the mail. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, the next screen we're going to look at is the setup screen. In the center area there's a column of expense categories which you can set up there. To the right of the category column is our split columns and there's three of them. The first split column is for agents, the next one for your business or rental property and the next one's for personal. So for example on the automotive expense, if you use the split class when entering that automotive expense and we'll show you that in a minute, what we're saying here is that 80% of that expense will be charged to real estate agent, 5% to the second business, and 15% to personal, and so on. Same with home office expenses. Your heat bill, you can set it up so that when you use the split class for your entry, that your heat bill goes 10% to agent, 5% to your second business, and 75% personal. And you can change these at any time. To the left of the category column are two other columns. The first column is items to appear on the agent summary statement and items to appear on the other business summary statement. So for any item that you want to show up in those statements you simply check or uncheck it. If you check it that means it will show up on that statement. Top left we have the year so you can copy this program one year to the next and easily update the year. You can also put in the name of that second business and here you can put in all the different payment types that you're using. Once you've set up your screen, you just click save and you're good to go. Then finally we have the year to date screen. In here we have year to date totals for agent only, for business, that second business only for year to date, and also for the overall summary year to date, along with four quarterly statements. And at the bottom of each there's a payment summary box showing your total payments on different payment methods. Okay, let's enter a few transactions. 11th of January, we have a check and it's agent income and let's say it's commission 32.50. Okay, it's in. So as you can see on the right hand side it's logging the agent income where it should and also logging it on the agent statement over here. Okay, let's do an expense. 14th of January, we're using Visa, and it's a split. It's for automotive, and it's a gas purchase. All right, on the split, you can see what it's doing here. It's taking that $54 gas purchase and dividing it between personal, $8.10, then business would be $2.70, and agent, $43.20. So it's automatically splitting that transaction out for you. Okay, and at the, when we scroll down, you can see it's tracking how much you're paying on the visa so far. And here you can see that you have two unreconciled items. So what we do to reconcile, we go to the reconciliation column and we look at our bank statement and say, yep, yep, I see that one, I see that one. And when you scroll down, the reconciliation box is clear. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for tuning in.